Hello, baseball fans, and welcome to installment number six of HTBL Baseball. Big Polly coming to you. If you are watching this the day I recorded it, happy Father's Day. I'm recording this June 20, 2021. Uh, we are about to play uh, April 11th in terms of the calendar uh, in the timeline of the game. We'll go through, as we always do, the results of the previous day, which was April 10. Boston lost to Baltimore. Baltimore going to three and two on the year, four and one. Amos Ruzi made his second start and is now two and zero. Oh. He beat Stye Young, Dust Triandos, uh, for the O's. Hit a homer and got two RBIs. Is my microphone on? Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, I played this game out because I play all the Tampa Bay games out. Uh, the New York Islanders. Not, no, 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 no. New York Yankees. I was thinking of the. Uh, Last night's game between the Lightning and the Islanders. Sorry, folks, my mind just kind of spooks out from time to time. The Yankees over the Rays, 10 to 6. The Rays had a 6-4 lead going into the bottom of the ninth, and then Grant Balfour could not get anybody out, and the Yankees came back with uh, a two-run barrage to tie it, and then a grand slammer for Thurman Munson to win it. I take that back. It was Lou Gehrig who hit the grand slam. In fact, let me look at the score sheet here. Yeah, it was Gehrig who ended it with a grand slammer. He hit four for five, a homer, got the grand slam, five ribbies. It was Quinn over Balfour. Quinn went the distance, almost went the distance, I think. Let me look at the box again. Helps if you take notes beforehand, Polly. Uh, <laughs> Weimer went eight innings and was doing well. Yeah, Quinn did go the distance for the Yankees. But Gehrig wound up being the hero with a grand slam. It was White Sox over the Blue Jays, 3-1. Walsh over Waring, and Fisk went 3-4 for four in a home run and a double. The Indians over the Tigers, 9-8. Stewart over Granger. Geringer, 2-5, for five, a triple and a stolen base. The Royals over Minnesota, 4-2. Royals are 4-1. Spawn over Hecker. Brett, 2-3 for three and a double. The Browns, in a game that you saw last here on the Big Polly's World of Sports Sims channel, over Houston, St. Louis over Houston, 4-2, Newsom over Plank. The Angels over the A's, 8-5. The, the uh, Oakland Athletics off to a slow start. Tana, Tanana over Keefe, Cochran, 2-4, for four, a triple and a stolen base. The Phillies pounded the Mets, 15-8. Alexander over Kuzman and Larkin went 4-5. for five. A triple and a double. The Nationals over Miami, 6-1. Kilroy over Powell. LaRoche, 2-3, for three, a homer and three RBIs. The Reds over Atlanta, 5-4 in 11 innings. Hasegawa over Necro. Dunn went 3-4, for four, a homer and three ribbies. The Pirates over the Expos, 7-6. Face over Morris. Madlock, 3-4, for four, a triple and a double. St. Louis over Milwaukee, 5-3. to three. That's the game we're about to play for you here uh, on day number six. Carruthers over Hutchinson. Boyer, Ken Boyer, 3-5 for five and a double. The Rockies over the Cubbies, 3-2. to two. Old Hoss Ras Radborn gets the win. He was picked by uh, the Rockies in the draft. Over Hernandez, Wilson, 1-4, for four, a home run. And that went 10. I believe that was Hack Wilson for the Cubbies. Seattle 1-0 over Texas. Langston over Welch. Gonzalez went 2 for 4. The Padres over Arizona, who are kind of struggling like their 2021 counterparts. Cheeseboro over Mullane. Pip 3 for 4 and 2 doubles. The Dodgers over the Giants 9 to 5. Drosdale over Gaylord Perry. And Reese went 2 for 4, a homer. And stole one base. So that brings us to today's game, which is going to be St. Louis and Milwaukee. Both teams 3-2. and two, Both teams jockeying for first place early on in the National League Midwest Division. Then on our next game, we will go to the AL West and then go to the NL West. And then we go through the divisions again, checking in on the leaders. So we will play this game, St. Louis and Milwaukee. I control Milwaukee. I control the home team. We're at Miller Park in beautiful Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I've never been to Milwaukee, so I can't really tell you how beautiful it is. Uh, and we'll check the weather conditions in a moment. I'll set the line up here for the Brewers. 
and we'll go through it. First off, let me, Christy Matheson is our starting pitcher. Again, he was a draft pick because every team in its current location picks their best 40. So the Giants, they have San Francisco, they can't pick the New York Giants, or the Oakland A's can't pick a Philadelphia A or a Kansas City A, but all of those teams, those wayward teams of yesteryear, all their players were eligible in the 10-round draft that we did, and all 32 teams got to pick 10 players to supplement their rosters and kind of make everything kind of balanced. So every team has a chance to win. It is 62 degrees, calm winds, and an open roof at Miller Park. Before going to the starting lineups, my profound thanks to Dave Little, who has a, his own YouTube channel here in our sports gaming community. I like to call it a low-tech sports gaming com uh, community. He made the first donation to the channel in its 14 months history. So thank you, thank you, thank you, Dave Little. So let's get to the starting lineups for St. Louis. Ozzie Smith at short. He'll lead off. Keith Hernandez at first. Roger Horn Rogers Hornsby at second base. Edmonds center field. Medwick in left. Boyer in third, Simmons catching, Callison in right, and Danning is the DH. We do use a DH in both leagues here in the HDBL to give some of those players of yesteryear some more at-bats. Defensively for the Brewers, Vaughn is a 7-4 and four in left, Berger a 7-5 and five at center, Burnitz 6-8 and eight in right, Cirillo is a 6 at third, Yount is a 9 at short, Loretta, a 7 at short, uh, second base. Nielsen, only a 3 at first. Rodriguez, who we will close in on. Ellie Rodriguez, 6 and a 7 arm. And Christy Matheson is a 5 uh, range, has a 5 range as a pitcher. So let's get this game started. St. Louis and Milwaukee, each 3 and 2. And you saw the St. Louis Browns yesterday, and today you're seeing the Cardinals. Ozzie Smith leading off. Bunt rating of 10. And we're going to bring the corners in here. Watch for the bunt. Hit to center, Berger underneath it, and that's the first out of the game. Keith Hernandez up 292 on the year. By the way, Ozzie Smith's batting average 160 now. Uh, 292, no homers, one ribby. Matthewson, when you include that one out, has pitched nine innings. ERA of two. 1 and 0 so far in a year. Opposing batting average 235 and the whip is 1.222. I always look at whip and OPS when I look at batting and pitching. So here's Hernandez digging in. Grounder the first. Nilsson will get to the bag. Yes, he will. Two outs. And that brings up Rogers Hornsby. Hornsby 250 on the year, two homers and four RBIs. See what he can do here. This is only the sixth game of the season for each team. We'll play 144. For St. Louis. Berger underneath Dizzy. that. Dizzy. And it's Dizzy Dean on the mound for the Cardinals. We'll go through the lineup for Milwaukee. Paul Molitor, your DH. Robin Yount, second, shortstop. Berger hitting third at center. Vaughn, Greg Vaughn in the left. He's fourth, batting cleanup. Burnett's at right, batting fifth. Batting 6th is Nielsen at 1st. Batting 7th, Cirillo at 3rd. Loretta bats 8th at 2nd. Rodriguez, the catcher, is your number 9 hitter. Uh, Dean can go 135 pitches. So can Matthewson. Defensively for St. Louis, Medwick is a 6 and a 4 in left. Edwins is a 10 in center field. And if you've ever seen some of his plays on YouTube or on Facebook, you know why. 7 arm. Callison an 8 and a 9 in right. Boyer a 9 at third base. They're going to play in uh, they're going to play corners in for Molitor, but we'll get to that in a moment. Smith a 10 at shortstop. Hornsby is a 6. Hernandez a 10 at first. Simmons, Ted Simmons is a 6 with a 5 arm and the defensive range on Dean is a 5. Molitor is a 9 bunner. I have no intentions of bunning here to try to get something past. To left center field, Medwick comes over, makes the put out, and there's one gone. Yount now up. Yount 318 on the year, three homers and five ribbies. By the way, that last at bat and Molitor's batting average so far this year is a 0-5-3. So let's see what Yount can do. Sharply hit the first, but Hernandez snags it. And there's two outs. 
Wally Berger up 333 on the year. Three homers, which I believe has him tied for the HTBL lead and eight ribbies. His OPS 1201. Foul. And we'll do it again. The count one and two. Grounder the third. Boyer. Hernandez. And uh, Milwaukee is out of the first inning. We play one. No score. To the second now. And Jim Edmonds. Edmonds so far in the year. 300. No homers or ribbies yet. But he can slug it. Hit well to center. And that is gone. That got out of here in a hurry. Berger could only watch it go. And Edmonds hit that 417 feet, and the Cardinals off to a 1-0 lead. Let's show you that again. It just jumped out of here. And Edmonds took his time rounding the bases. Enjoying that majestic uh, clout there. So with run, one run in, it's going to be Medwick, Joe Ducky Medwick, 409 on the air, a homer and five ribbies. He hits this. Yeah, uh, Bjount made a great play. He slid over towards second base. Got to it, threw it to first, and that's the first out. Ken Boyer now up for the Cardinals. 381 on the year and two ribbies. Popped up. We'll see who gets to it. It's going to be either Loretta or Nilsson. Nilsson gets to it. And nobody's talking about him because he made a great play. Two outs were made to play he was expected to make. Bringing up Ted Simmons, 200 on the year. So Loretta over the first, 4-3 on the putout. And the Cardinals now out of the second. We go to the bottom of inning two, one nothing Cardinals. That brings up Greg Vaughn. Vaughn had a great uh, couple of years in the late 90s, hitting over 50 home runs. 50 home runs or thereabouts. He's 190 so far this year, but he has hit two homers and four ribbies. Mathewson's pitch count now 21. Dean stepping up. Wasted 16 pitches in the first. There's a strikeout. Dizzy, Dizzy Dean at the moment, 261 on the year. Opponents hitting 310 off of him. He has struck out eight, including the first one today. Burnett's now up. Burnett's on the year, 200. Two for ten on the year, a homer and two ribbies. Not a slouch at the plate either, but Dean strikes him out. Back-to-back -back strikeouts for old Diz. And that brings up Nilsson. And Dean strikes out the side. Nicely done by Dizzy Dean. So we go to the third. It's one nothing in favor of the Cardinals. Johnny Callison up for St. Louis. 300 on the year. A homer and seven RBIs. He's a producer. Hit well. Berger, one out. No! Did he hang on to it? No, he made a great play. He looked like he might have bobbled it there, but he made the catch. Struggled, but got it done. Danning. Harry Danning is your new hitter. He is the nine hitter for St. Louis. The DH, 154 so far on the year. That's a base hit to right center field. Berger picked that up. And Danning is a bit of a stolen base threat at first base. We'll do the old calling card here. And he's safe. Ozzie Smith back up. 0 for 1 on the year. 160. No homers. Two ribbies. Grounder to Yount. And they'll try for the play at first. No! He's safe. Poor play by Yount. And now it's runners at first and second with one out for Keith Hernandez. Hernandez would go on, of course, and uh, later play for the New York Mets and uh, was part of the 86 team that won it all. 280 so far in the year, and so far today he is 0 for 1. He struck out Matthewson. That is his first strikeout of the game. He has seven overall this season. To the Raja, Rajas, Rogers Hornsby, 0 for 1. Grounder. Back to Matthewson, throws to Nilsson, and St. Louis out in the third. Go to the bottom of the third now, one nothing in favor of the Cards. Cirillo, your new hitter for Milwaukee, he is 375 on the air, 6 for 16. Two RBI so far in the campaign. Hit well to left, but Medwick should make it, and he does, one out. 
Dizzy Dean so far has retired seven in a row. Loretta up for, in fact, let me just double check that. Yep. Of course, Dean struck out the side in the second. Here's Loretta. To Dean, right back to Dean, to Hernandez, second out. Loretta, his batting average falls to 167. Ellie Rodriguez, the last chance for Milwaukee to get something here. And if Dean can get an out here, then he will have retired nine in a row. Grounder to second base. Hornsby to Hernandez. And it's three up, three down again for the Brewers. We go to the fourth. one nothing, St. Louis. They have left two on base. Milwaukee has not left anybody on base yet because nobody has gotten on base. Back to Jim Edmonds. One for one on the day he hit the home run, which has been the difference of the game so far. Popped up. Nielsen should get to it. He does. One out. Joe Medwick, your new hitter for St. Louis. He's 0 for 1 on the day. To Yount, to Nielsen, two outs. Score that 6-3. Ken Boyer now up for the Cardinals. He is also 0 for 1 today. Base hit to right field. Burnitz scoops it up and throws it back into the infield. So the fourth hit of the day for St. Louis. Here's Ted Simmons. Simmons 0 for 1 also today. Ball four, so St. Louis with a two-out threat, putting runners at first and second. That brings up Callison, Johnny Callison, and he is 0 for 1. Hit the center. Berger should get to that one easy. Yes, he does. And the side retired for the Cardinals in the fourth. He played three and a half. It's one nothing, St. Louis. Molitor back up. He is 0 for 1 on the day. In fact, everybody from Milwaukee 0 for 1. There's a base hit. That goes to the wall and Molitor will go for third. He's in there. A triple. Well, that's a way to break up uh, not getting any hits in the first three innings. So, Yount is not a threat to bunt, so I don't think you'll see the squeeze here. In fact, I'm not going to try it. We'll just uh, bat normal. Dean works. That should bring the run in. That's off the wall, so it will bring the run in. Yount in the second with a double, and the Brewers' bats coming to life on the second uh, trip through the lineup. Berger now up for Milwaukee. Wally Berger. Dean at 42 pitches. He's being worked here in the fourth. We have a tie game. That's a strikeout. Four on the day for Dean, 11 so far this season. Greg Vaughn, the slugger, hitting fourth. 182 on the year right now. He's 0 for 1. He struck out. And that's back-to-back -back strikeouts for Dizzy Dean. Burnett's up. Can Dean get three in a row again? He does. So he didn't strike out the side, but he did get three strikeouts back-to-back-to-back. -to -back -to -back. And we have now played four, and we now have a tie game. 1-1 between St. Louis and Milwaukee. Colorado also tied for the lead in the National League Midwest Division. They're playing the Cubs, and we'll have that result for you on our next episode. Danning again back up for the Cardinals. One for one on the day as Matthewson deals. To Berger, he caught it. One out. That was a line drive. Matthewson, 57 pitches. Four and a third. Has given up four hits, one homer, a walk, and a strikeout. Smith, as we go back through the lineup for St. Louis, their third time through. He's one for two on the day. Nielsen, unassisted, two out. Go back to Keith Hernandez. Hit well to right. Burnett's got to it. And the side retired for St. Louis. And we are now midway through the game. Unless we go extras. And by the way, when we go extra innings, we don't do this ridiculousness of having a runner at second. We play extra innings the old-fashioned way. Bottom of the fifth, Milwaukee at bat. It's a 1-1 tie. Nielsen again up for Milwaukee. 0 for 1 on the day. Dean deals. It's going to be a squibber. Great play by Hernandez. Did he get it to Dean? He did. Nicely done. And there's one out. Dean had to come over and cover first. Cerrillo now, 0 for 1. Cerrillo, Cerrillo, 0 for 1 on the day. Grounder, Dean, goes over again, and we have an injury to Keith Hernandez. 
Keith Hernandez got injured. As that was a play similar to the last at bat where Dean had to come over and make the play unassisted. So Hernandez is hurt and Joe Torre will enter the game at first base. He is a five in terms of defensive range at first. Loretta digging in. 0 for 1 on the day. Grounder, Hornsby, Torrey, and that's the third out. So St. Louis loses their first baseman, but they don't miss a beat on the last out of the fifth. And we go to the sixth with the score, 1-1. Hornsby up for the cards. He's 0 for 2. Ground the base hit. A base hit to right field looking like it might not drop but it did and Hornsby is aboard. Jim Edmonds 318 so far on the year. One for two today and he has that home run. Hit to right well Burnett's with the put out. One out. Matthewson now looking at Ducky Medwick. Oh for two. That's a base hit to left. And the runners will hold it first and second. No they will not being asked if I should throw the third, I will not with one out. We could set up for the double play. So we got Boyer. I'm going to pitch around Boyer. Maybe I could get to Ted Simmons, who's a weaker hitter. Base hit. That's going to give the Cardinals back the lead. An RBI for Boyer as Hornsby scores without the range. And it's 2-1 to one in favor of the Cards. Here comes Ted Simmons, one for one on the day. That's hit to center. Berger should camp underneath it. He does. And Medwick moves to third. Two outs now for Johnny Callison. Matthewson now up to 82 pitches. And we are not through the sixth inning yet. Hit in the air. Vaughn comes in, makes the play, and the side retired for the Cardinals in the six. We have played five and a half, 2-1, Cardinals leading. Rodriguez coming back up for Milwaukee. He is the nine hitter and the catcher, 0 for 1 on the day. Dean works him. Grounder to Smith, a poor play, and Rodriguez is aboard with a base hit. You don't see a lot of poor play out of the Wizard, but he made one there. With one out, with nobody out in the bottom of the sixth, I beg your pardon, it's now Dean against Molitor. Rodriguez, not a threat to steal, with 22%. Grounder the first, and Torrey should make the put out. Yes, he did. Rodriguez moves to second. That brings up one of the great Milwaukee Brewers, Robin Yount. One for two on the day. A base hit here would be huge. He hit it well, but Edmund should get to it. He does. And a good chance Rodriguez gets the third. We'll try it. He's safe. So now with two outs, you got a runner at third for Milwaukee. Wally Berger back in the game. 0 for 2. Grounder. Did it, did it fall? No, it did not. Medwick with the put out. It was one of those line drives that you didn't know when. It was going to drop to the ground, but it hung up enough for Medwick to come in and scoop it. We've played 6-2-1 in favor of the Cardinals. That brings up Danning again for the Cardinals. 1-2. for two. Matthewson at 86 pitches. By the way, Dean is at 91. So both these guys could probably get to the 8th inning. This is a high pop fly. And it dropped between everybody, <laughs> between Berger, Loretta, Nielsen, and Burnitz. It was one of those, I got it, I got it, I got it plays, and nobody got it. So, Danning aboard with a single. And that's going to bring up Ozzie Smith. Smith to Yount, to Loretta. And they get the force at second, and that's all. One out. Joe Torrey has not had an at-bat yet in HTBL play. Was a very good hitter in his day. And he played in the 60s and 70s primarily. Then he became a manager. Oh, he is hit. He is hit, and he just grins and goes to first base. Runners at first and second now for Rogers Hornsby. This is hit well to left. Can Vaughn get to it? Yes, he can. 
And Smith's going to advance to third on the sack. And that brings up Edmonds. Edmonds is one for three. Could be the last out before we go to the uh, be, before we go to the seven fitting stretch. Let's see what happens. Strike three. Strike three. Stretch time. Dun, 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 dun. I always love doing that. So Milwaukee's got to get busy here in the bottom of the seventh. They trail 2-1. Two 2-8-0 two for St. Louis. 1-3-0 for Milwaukee. Neither team has make an er made an error yet. Dean has struck out six. And bo all those strikeouts came back to back to back in groups of three. So Vaughn up. He could tie it with a swing. 0-2 on the day. Ground to the third, Boyer, Torre, one out. Torre, of course, became one of the great managers in pro baseball history. First, uh, with the Braves taking them to an unlikely playoff appearance in 1982, and then had a legendary young, uh, legendary run with the New York Yankees. Burnett's up, 0 for 2 on the day. He struck out, and Dean is now at 7. K's on the game. Jeremy has struck out three times. He's three of those seven Ks. So this brings up Nielsen. A base hit to center. A poor play. Uh, I think that was by Hornsby. Might have been by Smith. Could have got to it. Didn't get to it. And Nielsen is aboard with a single. That's the fourth hit today for Milwaukee. Dean pitching well. So Jeff Cirillo up 0 for 2. Another base hit, and Nielsen's going to try for 30. Gets there. Cirillo aboard, and the Brewers have back-to-back -back base hits. Now, a little strategery here. Loretta is 0 for 2. We're going to try to get Cirillo over the second on a stolen base attempt. And there he goes. And he's in there, safe. So now runners at second and third, which is important because a base hit, a well-placed base hit, gives Milwaukee the lead for the first time today. Let's see what Loretta does here. He's 0 for 2. And, oh, right to Hornsby. So that was all for naught. At the end of 7, it's 2-1 in favor of the Cardinals. Medwick up again, 1 for 3 on the day. Matthew seeming strong. He's at 106. I do think he could go this eighth inning safely, and then we could talk about relievers. Hit well, right center field. Burnett's one out. Brings up Ken Boyer, two for three on the day. Base hit up the middle. Berger got to it to avoid any further damage. It's just a single for Boyer. Simmons, 0 for 2 on the day. Boyer, a bit of a threat to steal. We better try a pickoff. We we got him. We got him. How about that? Boyer picked off a first. So now two outs for Simmons, 0 for 2 on the day. Loretta, Nielsen, and that's the third out. Go to the bottom of the eight with the score 2 to 1. Not thinking of doing any substitutions just yet because we go back to the top of the order after Rodriguez hits. Here's the bench for Milwaukee, Aoki. Riles, Duffy. We got Hugh Duffy, who could hit 383 against lefties and 362 against righties. Probably use him in the ninth, though. Hall, Hart, and Money. So here's Rodriguez. Ground to the first. Torre will take it to the bag, and there's one out. This brings up Paul Molitor. One for three on the day. Hits him. 
Molitor a threat to steal, too, and we're going to try it. Here's Yount up, one for three on the day, but here goes Molitor. Oh, a wild throw. Goes into the outfield, and Molitor was able to get the third on the era. First era of the game. So now we have a runner at third and one out. The infield playing in for Robin Yount. Grounder. Pass to Boyer for a base hit. Goes all the way to the wall. And Yount picks up a double. And it's 2-2. Two to two. The game is tied. And Yount, a 55% chance to steal third. Berger up 0 for 3 on the day. I'm going to go for the steal. He goes to third. He's out. He is out. Maybe I shouldn't have tried it. So, okay. 2-2. Two, two, two outs. Bottom of the eighth. Berger up 0 for 3. He struck out. And Dean now has 8 Ks. So, Matheson is at 113. 115. Could probably go another inning with him. And we're going to try it here. Unless he gets into trouble. At that point, I yank him. I do not have the bullpen rule in Action PC Baseball. Uh, when I when I substitute, I imagine that they uh, substitute a pitcher. I imagine they have already warmed up. Because I like to keep things simple. So it's Callison who is 0 for, 0 for 3 on the day. Sharply hit, but right to Loretta, one out. Danning is 2 for 3. Batting average now up to 250. For St. Louis. Oh, we have Stan yeah. the Man. Mutual. Stan the Man Musual coming in to pinch hit. And you wonder why you don't see Musual uh, more usually on this Cardinal team, this great Cardinal team. Musual is a good hitter. Four for six so far in HTBL play, so maybe you should make the case that you should use him a little more. So Matthewson will deal to him. Hit well to left. Vaughn, whoa, two out. Right by that truck and left uh, at the left field foul pole. So this brings up Smith, one for four on today. We're going to keep Matthewson in. He hits at the center. Berger underneath it, and the side retired for the Cardinals in the ninth. So you got a good chance of seeing some free baseball here. We go to the bottom of the ninth, a 2-2 tie. Vaughn up, 0 for three on the day, saving Duffy for a good spot. That's a base hit. So now let's think about Duffy. How can we use Duffy? Duffy is a center fielder. We're going to put him in as a pinch runner at first. Actually, because he's a 10. Duffy is the new runner at first. And we're going to try for a stolen base right away. He gets it. So Duffy aboard. And Jeremy Bermitz is going to try to bring him in. Nobody out in the Brewer ninth. Bermitz hits it to right. Callison underneath it. Can Duffy get the third? He's got only got a 55% chance as Callison has a nine arm. We're going to try it. He's out. A double play. A 9-5 double play for the Cardinals. And Nielsen now the last chance to avoid extra innings for the Milwaukee. Ground to the short. And Smith bobbles it. Throws the first. And that was mishandled by Torrey on the other end. So Nielsen aboard. Jeff Cirillo now up. One for three. Here's the pitch to him. Oh, a pitch out throw to first. But Nielsen backs real already with a game-winning RBI this year. Already thinking about, okay, what are we going to do with uh, Duffy? We want to keep him in the game for sure. Here's the pitch to Cirillo. Grounder the third. Berger to Hornsby to get the force. We'll go and play some free baseball. We're in the 10th inning now, a 2-2 tie. We're going to keep Matthewson in. I'm going to move Berger to left to bring Duffy in at center field. So those are the defensive changes. 
Musual, by the way, stays in, but he does not play a defensive position. He plays DH. So Torre up. No at bat so far. Well, he, he walked the last time he was up, and that's a base hit. Be very careful here with Mathewson. Hornsby up, one for four. Another base hit, yeah, and that was mishandled. That winds up being a triple. And the Cardinals quickly take a 3-2 lead, and that's going to be it for Mathewson. So we have lefty, righty, righty. And at this point, I don't really think it matters who you bring in. We're going to bring in Burke to pitch. Tim Burke, who in real life played for Montreal. He has had one appearance so far this year. He went a third of an inning and won the game. He's 1-0 so far this year. You bring the infield in for Edmonds, 1-4. for four. That's ball four. Still nobody out, so you still got to bring the infield in. For Medwick, who's one for four. To Loretta, to Nielsen, got to get the out there. Boyer is three for four. I am walking him. Bring in Ted Simmons, and now you, you set up for the double play, uh, bringing the infield halfway. See if Milwaukee can get out of this game, only uh, get out of this inning, only giving up one run. That's a strikeout. Burke now with two outs. So now you play normal for Callison. Burke, by the way, his EPC is 30. He's already at 16. Grounder, yeah, just go any base. Oh, he goes to first, and he's safe. That brings in a run. Should have gone for the force at second, so that was kind of a mental error by Yount. 4-2 now in favor of St. Louis in the top of inning 10 with two out. We go to stand the man, usual. Bases loaded. Not a good situation. St. Louis could really blow the doors open with this at bat. Duffy gets to it. And Milwaukee mercifully finally out of the 10th, but the damage done. Two runs for St. Louis. This is our very first extra inning game uh in this HTBL series I've been doing. There have been other HBL, HTBL games that have gone extras, but this is the first I have done. So it's 4-2. We go to the bottom of the 10th, and Loretta is 0-3 on the day. Smith, Tatore, one out. We look at Rodriguez here. Rodriguez is 680 on the OPS. Could bring in another. We don't have another catcher to bring in, so we should probably just stick with him. Probably need to make a roster move to get another catcher for Milwaukee. Ball four, and Rodriguez is aboard. Now you go to Malher. Now you get to the top of the lineup for Milwaukee. Malher is one for three. Dean is tired. But Smith's going to throw to Hornsby over the first. They do not get the double play, but there are now two outs. And they're going to keep Dean in there for Robin Young. Safe. Mahler, I have no intentions of try, having him try to steal second down two. Young. Smith. Did they get him? They did. And in ten, the Cardinals beat the Brewers four to two. Well, that was an interesting game. Ellie Rodriguez. We got, we got to bring in another catcher for the Brewers. And I will do that off camera. Dean went the distance, allowing seven hits, two runs, one earned. He walked one, struck out eight. Mathewson went nine plus, 11 hits given up, four earned runs, a walk, two Ks, and then Burke came in in relief for Milwaukee. And the MVP of the game was Dizzy Dean. Hernandez, you might recall he was injured earlier in the game. He will be fine. Uh, he was only injured for today only. So I hope you enjoyed today's game. Again, in 10, it was St. Louis over Milwaukee, 4-2. to So come back on our next episode. We'll look at two teams from the American League West Division, which will be either Seattle, Oakland, 
Texas or the LA Angels. This has been Big Polly coming to you, wishing you well. Godspeed and God bless. We'll do it all again soon, and bye-bye for now, everybody.